Welcome to Unruly 3, father of three unruly kids. I'm not really. All right, since my last bowl was a complete failure, I'm going to try my hand at doing another one. So I went ahead and I grabbed some um, white oak here, and I'm cutting into about half inch strips. And I got some alder, same thing, I'm going to cut that into some half inch strips. And I have some walnut, cutting that as the same, some half inch ones. And I got some sapili. This is a kind of a similar wood to mahogany. It's a nice deep brown when you get the finish on it. I think those were about five eighths. They were a little bit thicker than the half inch ones. Then using my perfect miter block setup from Rockler. This time instead of doing five sides, I'm gonna do eight sides. So I put this board on here. This is gonna help with some of the tear out. So it's gonna make the cuts a little bit cleaner. And put a little stop block here so I keep all these pieces the exact same size. And I need eight of these. And when you put them together, this one's a little bit smaller. I'd use my pencil to hold, put these together. You got yourself a nice little octagon. All right, now that I got these all set up, it's time to glue them together. I kind of figured out a pattern later on how to glue these, but for now, I'm just kind of putting glue on four of them, putting them together, <clears throat> and then putting the rubber band. I've gotten a lot better putting these rubber bands on. Here's the oak, put glue on four, and then alternate them. Got a new piece of cardboard, went down to Costco, got that one. Here's the CP, Sapili one. Right, and then after I sanded them with my random orbital sander, got some of the glue, well, the glue off so they were pretty flat. I don't have a drum sander, so I just kind of try to do it the best I can. So for the base down there, I'm using a big chunk of um, hard maple, gonna be for the base. So that's the alder piece there. Then I do the walnut. So I'm doing one whole strip of one color. So the walnut here, and the oak. So the pattern is gonna be, looks like oak on the bottom, then the sapili, then the alder, and then the walnut. And then on the top, I had some that were cut that are, um, the same pattern but put together in block like that so it's still the oak sapili the same pattern but it goes around in a circle for the top to be kind of the finishing one i put my toolbox in there all right and then i just start trying to get this down to being round
So now I'm working my way up through the grits and I'm slowly sanding them all the way up to, I want to say 600. And I wipe it down really quick and I'm going to put some oil in here. This is where the grain kind of pops a little bit. You can see the sapili in there, that brown one. And once it gets that on it, it really makes it stand out a lot better. I had a really hard time getting the bottom of this bowl. That was really tough to with the, the tools anyway to try to get that as smooth. So it's not super smooth, but um, for my first successful bowl, I was really happy with it. So there you can kind of see the way the colors are. It's really nice. Nice combo. Now on the outside, once you start putting the oil on, this is where the colors kind of start to stand out a lot better. You can still see some of the sanding lines. Alright, so on the right you can see my first bowl, which was a failure. Um, so the second one I tried to copy. Um, so you can see here where it was too thin, it was gonna chip out. That, and I just never even got done before it broke off. Now this one here, it went all the way down and it turned out really good. Put my brand on the bottom. So my next one I wanna to try to do is this pattern here. Try to make a little bit more of a shape like that. All right, thanks for watching.